All right, guys, I wanted to go ahead and do one more video tonight. Uh, let's just go ahead and I want to showcase a deck on self-locking. So this deck is revolving around cards that lock and you're trying to overlock your hand. So cards like Nostradamus, who, you know, typically you can't play him right away because he's locked for six turns, but there are cases where... I've been able to get this card out on, you know, turn one, or not, I shouldn't say turn one, but round one, and uh, this card can be broken, you know, you get them out super quick in the game, and um, you do that by uh, overlocking your hand, so getting four or more cards in hand locked, and you can do that with cards like the Emperor, uh, so you play him by himself, and your remaining cards in hand will lock, and they'll also get plus 25 power. So this is going to allow us to overlock our hand, which in turn unlocks all these locked cards. So cards like the Devil, which are going to be locked permanently, will now unlock. Uh, what's some other good ones here? I think we have the Hanging Gardens in this deck. So again, locks permanently. Uh, everything gets boosted plus 35, but... It's not going to be permanent once we unlock these cards. So Eye of the Storm is another way we can unlock these cards. Um, Indigo is also a card that uh, will lock uh, permanently if played before round two, turn two. Uh, and then we've got a lot of cards just to boost up and get these you know stacks on top of ourselves. Cards like Martin Luther King, you know, giving everything in your hand plus 20. Uh, Rat King, which you guys know I'm high on this card. It's giving everything plus 13 permanently. Uh, let's see here. The Multiverse, giving everything plus 11. Uh, Rabbit's Foot. So this, if you just leave it in your hand, you're constantly getting boosted. A random card, plus 12 permanently. Uh, same thing, Great Wall of China, plus 8. So we're just... We're just Boosting our stats, our power level, and then trying to take advantage of these self-locking mechanics. All right, so let's go ahead and back out. We're going to go play a casual with it and see how we do. Uh, like I said, I've been pretty successful with this deck in casual. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and, you know, subscribe, toss me a like, maybe a comment, you know, it's a new channel. I'm trying to, you know, try to get some followers here and see if we can get this thing going. If you guys enjoy the content, you know, I'll shoot me some comments on maybe some deck ideas. You know, I'd like to showcase some other ideas if you guys have any. All right, so what do we got here? We got, looks like three of our cards locked, so... Let's go ahead and uh, play out Medusa here. Nice 112 power. Only having to play one card. Not too bad. Alright, Enigma. It's a pretty good start for us, I feel like. Move that over just in case he's got the gun. Alright, I need another card though that can lock up our fourth card here. Here we go. Maybe this will do it for us. Nope. Not so lucky. Right, we're gonna I don't really want to play the rabbit, but we're gonna have to do it just so we don't lose this round here. All right, well, we took round one. Let's see what we can do now. Hanging Gardens, you see how that gives everything plus 35. 
So I'm thinking we just play these two, see if we can potentially lose this first turn and get the plus two off Ghost. If we're lucky enough to lose here. There we go. Successfully lost. I like it. Gives us our plus two that we need. Alright, we need to get that indigo down so we can lock up a card of our opponents here before this last turn. Oh, let's do the Door to Hell. Door to Hell is a pretty good card. If you guys aren't familiar, giving everything plus 50 for the turn. So our opponent's playing the Sue Black Bones deck. Seems like we're doing pretty good against it so far. So here's uh, Emperor in action. We're going to Play him by himself, so we can lock out our last card there. Hopefully that doesn't cost us the round, but it could potentially. Looks like it did. Oh, no. Still won it. All right, so we're going to lock over lock now, like I was saying before, which actually just unlocks all our cards. So now we've got Nostradamus online along with the devil for our... I'm thinking it's going to be our final round here. I don't think he's going to be able to come back from this. It's going to be a pretty big swing here. Eureka! Let's see what we got here. We got the Taj Mahal. So we don't really need Eye of the Storm now because our stuff's unlocked. So let's get the Hanging Gardens down before it burns away. I'm thinking MLK and Great Wall. So yeah, the stick. Stick's just too much pressure for him right now. I'm surprised so many people play this Susan Black deck. I just don't feel like it's that good. I see it a lot, though. Just doesn't look appealing to me. I haven't even tried to make it. Doesn't look up my alley. Maybe one day, though. I'll give her a try. But for now, we'll just keep stomping it. I'm fine with that. I think that's going to do it, guys. Bones deck just can't keep up. Well, if you guys uh, enjoyed the video and you like the content, like I said before, feel free to subscribe, like, try to support the channel. This is a new channel. I'm trying to get it off the ground. So if you guys enjoy, go ahead and do that for me. And uh, thanks again, guys. Appreciate you watching.